running John Gill World Pickleball Association here with a future champion, Ashton. We just played some doubles together, and how many times have you played? Uh, about eight times. Eight times. He's a very good baseball player, I believe, as well, and he loves pickleball. So we noticed today you weren't that confident in the volleys. So let's get the volleys happening. I loved your forehand return, though, and your big serve. Let's get those punch volleys going, okay? First of all, we need to use continental grip. So that's holding the, the V up this ridge here. That's it, this, that's it there. And this hand here with the finger behind. You can get a close up of that. It's a very simple shot, just a block, no big swings, okay, Ashton? Okay, here we go. So just punch, that's it, very good, just there. Now back, now put the paddle back to ready quickly, which is in front of you at the moment. Good. That's good. So hit, come back. Hit, hit, come back. I come back to ready. Ready position can actually be a pro in front of you, obviously, and approximately 10 o'clock, because we get a lot of these volleys in pickleball, so it's a good one. And at your age at the moment, I do suggest uh, doing some two-handers and strengthening your wrist up so you can get to a one-hander as well, okay? Here we go. That's it, very good. Block, very good, very good. That's it, less, less backswing. He's starting, what's interesting is, he's starting to do a natural rolled volley. So I actually like that. But when the fast ones come, you've got to block it, Ashton, okay? That's it, block it like that. That's it, careful. <laughs> Kids, come up here, I'll show you something. All the audience will like this too. Put your paddle on top of the net. Now simply walk back and keep it that level. Right, so keep, in other words, you're keeping the paddle above that. There's no point in holding it down here because those balls are going to the net, right? Good, excellent. Oh, look at that. You know what? That's the perfect spot at someone's feet, right? Make them bring their paddle low. That's the key. Get them to bring their paddle low and you're ready to attack when they pop it up. Okay, so that was a really good shot. Actually, a good little drill, Ashton, is to do this. I'll hit it across to there, you shuffle, then hit it away from me over here. That's it, that's it, now shuffle. Hit it. That's it, perfect. Now go back the other way. This is a very good drill to keep our feet moving, okay? Excellent, look at that. That could have been an Ernie then, because you got me in the backhand corner. Here we go. Oh, that's a great shot. That's it, see how we get back to ready. Shut. Make sure you step behind the white line, okay? The non-volley zone line, behind the line, Ashton. Now I'm gonna speed up at you, you gotta be ready for the volley. Here we go. Perfect, perfect, perfect. Get it out in front, watch that ball. See that ball, hit the paddle. Oh, good shot, oh, mate, nearly went in, that's fantastic. Okay, now I'm gonna show Ashton some serving. He had a really good serve before, but I felt when we're playing you, you're rushing it like everybody does. So let's come back here and go through the serve. Quiv, what do you guys that uh, returning the balls, thanks? Yep, good, awesome. Okay, Ashton, here we go. So with your serve, I love the way you hit the serve, but we need to get it kind of like under. The pros now are doing from here, but you don't have to worry about that at the moment. You can get it up a little bit, and then you want, you want to hit top spin. You want to hit top spin and see how the deep that was, and I got my hips into it, and take your time. So do this for me. Say three, one, one, and then pause for three seconds. Literally wait for three seconds. Ready? Three, three, one, one. One, and two, and three. Perfect. Three, one, one. Three months, I think, because in December I ordered this one. Good, 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 good. Excellent, they're much better. See how more stable you are compared to when we played when I first met you? That is a really good serve. Now, now this this one we're using an eastern forehand grip. You want more stability here. You don't need that up there. Okay, so you put that there, eastern forehand grip, V in the middle, okay? So let's try that now. We're gonna go semi-western later, but that's fine. There you go, and look at much, you got more power than that as well. And just try it again, concentrate. That's it, you see, see you got more film. Let's do it again. Three one one or oh, here we go again. Three one one. Keep your eye on the ball. There we go. Awesome. A little bit more. Now you're getting a lot more serves in. Now I'm watching again. Three one one. See, this is a good listener. Here is a. I bet your teachers at school are very happy with you. Three, one, one. He listens and he learns. That's it. Very good. Now that now we can create. There's a little bit of wind around. Now we can start doing more top spin, low to high. Now you want to tilt the paddle down, the paddle tip down a bit more. It's flat, you have it here. When you're hitting a ball flat, you're doing that. That's called a flat shot from here. 
Here we tip the paddle head down and we come low to high. It's a brushing action. It's like brushing your hair, brushing. Perfect. Absolutely perfect. You did exactly what I told you to do. You had a little toss, not too much, just a little bit and it was out in front. And by doing that, you generate top spin and you hit a really deep serve. Because it's actually the depth that's the most important thing. To prevent the opponent getting to the kitchen too quickly. Otherwise, they'll be there within a split second if you hit a short serve. So keep going with that. And then you're taking your time, so you're concentrating. Three, one, one. That's it. I think we should call 911 now. Because Ashton's on fire. <laughs> call 911, Ashton's on fire. That's it, you're going great, mate. Now I want you to call 911. Because <laughs> you're on fire. 911, call it out. 911. Yeah, because Ashton's on fire. Call 911. That's it. Good, that's much steadier. Now, you, you, you're doing the right thing. When he's learning, when I first met him, he was just belting the ball really hard. And it was you know, going out a bit. We gave a second chance. But now, that's consistent. Now, we'll start to increase the swing a little bit more. Because I think you're ready for that now. So, in other words, you increase acceleration of your swing path. Okay, but still aim for the middle of the square because that gives you a margin for error. So I don't even mind if you hit them quite long, as long as you accelerate a bit more with the top spin. So go for it a bit more, in other words. Three, one, one, one. Three, one, one. Nine, one, one, mate. Nine, one, one. You're on fire. <laughs> That's it. There you go. Now you can even hit that a little bit harder as well. And with the top spin, that'll bring it in. Nine, one, one. Yep. Nice. Yeah, Dad would have had a trouble getting into the kitchen on that, wouldn't you? Picture that ball right in that spot, okay? Yes! That's great. Let's try a few to the other side now, the odd court. Let's try a few this side. That's going great. You're getting everything in. Yep, I like it. I like it. And the good thing is you're getting a hip in. The only thing I can advise also um, playing kids your own age won't be so bad probably at the moment, but when you're playing the adults who hit a bit harder, the problem is when you come into, the, into here, they hit a deep ball, you have to come back. So if I was you, I would stand back even further and really, th you know how you did earlier with that body weight into it? So I would just stand back further. So this way, when you really kind of rip it, right, we really rip it from there, we really rip it and they end up here. They end up here, okay? So let's try that. 911. That's it, that's the one. Oh, that would have been a beauty. Oh, that was, just, that was gonna be. <laughs> Later on, we'll get you doing some slice. See how that pulls, pulls people out wide, particularly if they're trying to protect their backhand. But the moment, because you've got a natural bit of a slice here. Anyway. The moment, focus on top spin first as a main serve, and later I'll teach you the actual slice serve. Try good direction, just try that again, lift a bit more. Watch that ball. Yeah, nice serve, nice serve. Go grab that ball. Perfect. And that had a little bit of side spin, which is fine. Nine, one, one. Yes. See how it pulls Dad right off the court? Beautiful. Let it bounce, let it bounce. Don't forget to let it bounce. That's all right. Good volley though. <laughs> That's it. Don't, careful stepping in until he hits it. Now keep going, keep, keep going in. He beat Dad. <laughs> well done, mate. That was awesome. Nine, one, one. Stay behind the line. Stay behind the line. Now turn around. That's it. Now let's go in together. See? See how we formed together like this? And it's hard for them to get past us. It's a small court. So see, you know, that's where the advantage is. Stay back, stay back. Run up, run up. Now run, run. Drop it. Oh, look at that! <laughs> what? That was like the perfect drop, mate. That's a high five. Woo! <laughs> that was awesome. Stay back, stay back. Now come, now. Yes, yes, here we go. Little dinks. Watch out, Dad! <laughs> oh, yes! <laughs> Keep playing it. That was awesome. <laughs> okay, here we go. Returning now. Champion returning. Come in, I, I take the volley. Oh, that's great shot from dad. 
Oh, look at that! For a <laughs> How good was that? Perfect. See, now Dad's coming in all of a sudden. Yours! Oh! Yours! Oh! <laughs> that is brilliant, guys. Oh my goodness, that was, I love that forehand return. Okay, here we go. Stand back a bit, look for your forehand. Oh, good shot. That's it, take it easy. Oh, you can have that one. Take it. Get back. Oh, what a shot. <laughs> that was awesome. Just blocking it there. Champion, Benny Johns. Benny, watch out. Ben Johns, watch out. And uh, high five. High five. How good was that? Got his protective glasses. Always wear sunglasses or protective glasses. Keep hydrated. All right, and, uh, and warm up before you play as well. And stretch down after you play. And do stroke production. Practice your strokes without hitting a ball. Okay, Ashton? Yeah. Practice, do shadow pick a ball. Pretend you're hitting without hitting a ball. Then get dad to get a big basket of balls and feed balls to you. And if he's not available, hit against the wall. Thanks for watching, everybody. We'll see you on the next one. Bye for now.